we're learning the man responsible for a terror attack at a Minnesota mall lived right here in our own backyard. Federal law enforcement has identified the man who stabbed nine people at a St. Cloud mall as Dahir Adan. And we've obtained documents linking him to the Fargo area. That information shows Adan living in at least three different areas of Fargo before moving to St. Cloud to attend university. So just who was the man praised by ISIS as being a soldier of the Islamic State? Valley News Team's immigration and relocation reporter Bradford Eric has our investigation. He just charged me with the knife and he said, are you a Muslim, are you a Muslim? To hear Adan worked as a security guard at one time and was a student at St. Cloud State University. A spokesperson saying he hadn't actually been enrolled since spring. And federal authorities raided an apartment there where Adan lived looking for clues. A Facebook search yielded little results today. It appears the social media site removed any profiles registered to him. Adan's own father first identified him as the attacker, telling media he was born in Kenya but is of Somali descent. Documents obtained by Valley News Live show 22-year-old Adan's social security number was issued by North Dakota sometime between 1995 and 1998 meaning he was anywhere from one to seven years old when he arrived in the U.S., and meaning he was radicalized here in the States. We checked out the first address listed for the Fargo area. The people who answered the door said they didn't know anyone by the name Dahir Adnan. The next address was registered in West Fargo. The family who answered the door said Adnan used to live there, but moved to St. Cloud in 2007. Nobody answered at the other address listed in South Fargo. I asked Lutheran Social Services, the refugee resettlement agency here in Fargo, if Tahir Adan and or his family had come through the agency. They tell me, quote, it is the standard practice not to disclose without consent the names of anyone who seeks services from the organization, regardless of the nature. Furthermore, if Adan was resettled in the Fargo area as a refugee, it would have been before LSS took over the program from the state. Bradford Eric, Valley News Live. The Somali Community Development of North Dakota issued a statement in response to the terror attack in St. Cloud, saying in part, we condemn violence and acts of terrorism against individuals living in our communities. SCN, uh, SCDND mourns with you and would like to express sincere sympathy to the victims, their families, and the communities impacted by this disgusting event. You can read the full statement on our website, valleynewslive.com.